What's up guys, Toaster here. Today I'm going to show you a new deck that I've been practicing for a while. Almost level 7 Fireball, only 3 more. I've played around 10 games with this deck since the reset and I have lost 1 I think, so it's a really good deck. The only downside is a lot of you guys probably won't be able to try this deck since most of you don't have 3 legendaries, but... I've been lucky enough to get all three of them uh, that are required for this deck. And this is a perfect op opportunity to fireball here. Isn't that the best f fireball you've ever seen? <laughs> so anyway, if you don't suck with this deck, like I'm doing right now, um, you're going to win a lot of games. You have both the Royal Giant, he's really strong right now, even though he got a tiny little nerf. A few weeks ago. You got the Ice Wizard for defense. Uh, the Princess is really good defense as well. The Miner to take out pumps. Um, both Fireball and Sap for three Musketeers. You can counter pretty much anything. If you can hit the Fireball that is. Good! But since his Barbarians is level 11 and I only have level 6 Fireball I have to put something in front of my tower so he doesn't hear it. One thing when playing this deck that is very important is to take down your opponent's pumps all the time. Um, so he doesn't get an elixir advantage. Since you're not using the pumps yourself. Another good tip is if you see that your opponent is going to do a huge push on one lane. Um, put your royal giant on the other lane. Uh, just to counter it. In worst case scenarios. He will get your tower and you will get his tower. I really need to deal with this Barky. Um, he's defending it really good though, so my tower will go down. But it's okay. Uh, his tower is at 350 health. I just need to put down one royal giant and it's going down. The problem is I had to defend my tower as well. That's not going to be easy since he's using Sparky. But we'll see. If I keep pressuring him, him enough, uh, he won't be able to do both Giant and Sparky. Um, so I have to play really aggressive. 1-1 one, one right now, but he's up a little more than a thousand health on his tower. And he's coming in with a huge push. I have to defend this somehow. 600 health left. And 2000 on his tower. I have to put down a royal giant now and hope for the best. Or fireball these guys. At least I hit him this time. Again. I'm pretty sure he's slow on elixir right now so... Will I be able to get the tower? Come on. I have to slow down the giant over here. Miner over here. And I think it's a win! Yes! Not even close. So, that's another win with this deck. Uh, it's really fun to play. But as I said before, um, you need the three legendaries to be able to play this deck. I don't think you can replace them with any other card. Maybe arrows instead of the princess, but it's not the same thing. Um, but if any of you guys tried this deck, or any very variation of this deck, please let me know uh, how it worked and what cards you replaced. I really want to cycle to my miner since he dropped his princess, but it's the last card, so I have to take down his princess with my princess. And she did a really good job doing that. I'm gonna start a big push with my royal giant in the back. And Barbarians in the front, just because he dropped his mini P.E.K.K.A. And the Ice Wizard on the right, I'll just ignore him. He's not a big threat. And since he already used his mini P.E.K.K.A., I don't know how he's going to defend this. Um, Ice Wiz Wizard is a good choice. But I still will be able to take a few hundred health off his tower. So, if he doesn't play anything, I just have to wait. 
Okay, I'll just take care of that with a miner. He will be able to take down the princess before he dies. Perfect. And then I can drop a princess to deal with these tiny guys. And the nice wizard or barbarians maybe. Yeah, barbarians. I don't remember. Is this guy using fireball or not? I think, yeah, he is. Crap. At least this guy knows how to aim with it. Um, which I don't, apparently. I usually start every push with a nice wizard in the back. And then see how my opponent reacts. And if he doesn't, I'll play something on the other lane. And then put a royal giant in front of the ice wizard. Perfect example. And a miner for princesses or pumps. It's 45 seconds left on normal time. Um, it's pretty even. I have no idea who's going to win. Hopefully me. But we'll see. He's using the popular hog rider and goblin combo. It's really easy to counter it with uh, an ice wizard or barbarians. He also used his mini packer here again, so if I will be able to kill it, I can drop my royal giant down. And he won't be able to do much against it. But first I have to deal with this princess so she doesn't do too much damage to my barbarians. And this is what I'm talking about when I say you have to play aggressive. This guy is playing so many cards that I don't have Alexei to put down my royal giant. So he's playing really good right now. But I think I can place it now after I deal with this ice wizard. Here we go. And he shouldn't have mini P.E.K.K.A. As I expected. So I can just take down his tower hopefully now. And as you guys can see, Ice Wizard is a really good defense for Mini P.E.K.K.A. It slows him down so he, he cannot reach your tower. I just have to spam Royal Giants now until I get the tower down and Miner can help as well. Uh, and the Fireball to finish off the tower. Good game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.